Hey guys, welcome back to the Pugger Reborn channel. I have a little bit of a laugh here because <laughs> I just, uh, I realized that I've been trying to pause the game. For some reason, OBS changed my my pause button. So that was fun. So hopefully this in this episode, I could pause without people knowing that I don't break character even after I stop <laughs> stop pausing. If you, you want to catch that, you can go to um, my last video, which is... Uh, Thing, things I found, things found, or whatever it is, part four. It's pretty funny, at least. Anyways, moving on, we are facing hyenas today now, or today. We're facing hyenas, and I'm gonna explain them a little bit and give you some context as to how they work. So hyenas are simply this: they have more damage. They punch out a little more damage than your dire wolves. They, oh excuse me, they have really good armor damage. It, it's like 40 per bite, but remember they get three bites. They're very good at getting into guys with good defense. Uh, most of these guys on the line have 35 plus defense, and you're going to see they're going to get bit. Uh, so the few that don't is like this guy here, Torkoal. Torkoal's rocking only 25. I've been more or less giving him shield wall for this type of event. Another one that would be is this guy here, Grimwald, the Craven. And they constantly do this. I keep finding that. Uh, oh, back to the. Let me get back to this other part. So their health, I think, is less than dire wolves. It feels like they're less than dire wolves, at least. Their bite is stronger than dire wolves, but their AI tracking is very smart. Of all the beasts that I've faced, next to lindworms, because I ended up taking on some other lindworms, three of them. Man, lindworms are stronger now. I just there's no two ways to tell you with that uh, zone of control now with the tail. And they, when they come at you now, they come at you sideways, their head facing. So I can, I'm going to talk about it in my next, my next part five video, but uh, things I found. But nonetheless, these guys are very strong in their tracking. They'll crash the line with six, six, let's say six of them, and then they'll send four, constantly avoiding your brothers all the way around. So one of the strategies that I'm, I have been using is I throw one guy in the back like this. And then I pretty much you make a bit of a ball. You do that kind of with, if you're facing goblins, you, a lot of times you do that with the, the wolf riders. You have one guy that's kind of watching the back line, something like this. So we'll kind of go with that. And I'm going to wait. I just want to see how they're moving. See, look at look how douchebaggish they're acting. Sometimes they crash, sometimes they do this madness. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go like this. We're just going to create a bit of a wall here. I think uh, we'll go like this. Now, is this a little is this a little a little absurd, like a little too much, in terms of protecting your brothers? Possibly, I'm willing to say it's it's possible. But uh, yeah, it's just you, you gotta you gotta adapt a little bit here. And I'm actually gonna I'm thinking I put him here. Yeah, because his AOE and stuff is gonna help for this this corner. I guess I could put them there, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna shield wall. Not that we, I don't think we really need to at the moment, but whatever. Again, we'll just do that. Bring him in. Man, they're really being douchebags right now. Normally they're not that standoffish. That's, that's a bit, that's a bit much. Yeah, your turn's done, so that's kind of fanned out. There we go, at least knock him out for that turn. Now the other thing too is the Frenzies, Dire Wolves, and Hyenas did get a bit of a buff. They are stronger now, better chance to hit. They do more damage even. So just be aware of that as well. Facing a few of these isn't that big of a deal. But when you get it to 10 where they can they their numbers will start doing this. It's it's seriously a huge pain in the butt. They got two more guys that are gonna do something, so I'm gonna. Yeah, I just 50 and this guy here well granted he is debuffed pretty heavy so that's pretty good having their defense it's not terrible it doesn't feel like it's terrible at least dang it I really wish I would have moved him in well go like that get at least a kill there oh I thought I was gonna kill that guy all right so I can't can't exactly fill this gap and this rock's gonna protect our archer for a moment here in the meantime we'll continue trying to cause a little bit of damage that didn't work 
again, these this is really your main issue is the get, focus on the frenzies. The other ones aren't nearly as bad. Oop, don't do that. Okay. Yeah, these guys are kind of putts. They're a bit of putsy. Yeah, so this guy has 30... His defense is like 30-something. It's like 38. And he still ended up getting hit. Now, some of it does come off to be RNG. And as you can see, the bleed damage is now starting to apply. He ran all the way around. And that's what these little douchers do. They constantly are doing this kind of stuff. However, I can fix this a little bit. Rotation. I love rotation, especially for your archers now, even over a quick, quick feat. It's been super useful. Break him down a little bit. Especially because a lot of these enemies now, how they move, such a... It adds a different dynamic. Fearsome. Oh, I guess I should have attacked him. Oh, well. Okay, I think we got him in the bag now. That noise. Oh, and that's my favorite thing about the dire wolves right there, is their whine. Their whine is so freaking sweet. I love it. Yeah, look at that damage. I mean, he could easily kill Frisco. And Frisco, we can look at him. Frisco, 40, yeah, 41 freaking defense. And he's getting, he's getting bitten up. Now, part of that is a little bit RNG, but he's still getting 23 with 43 defense. Again, the Frenzy Direwolves are not just, they're just not as easy anymore. They used to be, I always thought, no big deal, whatever. So you have them, you know, there's going to be somebody who's going to be taken out of the equation, whatever. But, uh, yeah, no, they are definitely a pain. Now, with that being said, we did end up getting our pelts. Now... I'm going to pause, and hopefully uh, you guys don't hear all my whatever it is that I'm saying in the background. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. All right, so now, taxidermist. We have ourselves the new hyena mantle, and uh, fur mantle. And this is what you're getting. You're getting a plus 15 durability and the plus 15 initiative for the new builds that are going to come forth, especially with assassin. Guys, if you want a nimble brother, and you want him to be uh, like heavy, like the dagger build that I've been doing. I can't tell you guys enough how great these guys are for that. I mean, he is, it's sick. They come with so much. I could take this stuff off. I mean, he's only level four. I haven't put anything, I don't think I've put anything into it though. I'm almost 100% sure I haven't. It's, it's just incredible. Um, yeah, but anyways, moving on with that. Definitely want to get as many of those as you can. Put them on some of your brothers that uh, that are going to do that dagger build. Or even like your archers. I mean, that's still another thing. If you throw a dodge on them or if you have any kind of uh, like the jousting brother, that's a really a good one too. But uh, nonetheless, guys, hopefully that helped you out and see how dire wolves can be. Uh, that was a little extreme how they were moving in this, in this video. But uh, still, something you can glean from. Uh, yeah, and then tonight also the next video that you guys see is going to be the gameplay video and the video after that is going to be who wins the early access the second piece there. So there's one more chance to win early or not early access. I'm sorry getting the DLC. I'm going to be giving away three copies. One has already been given away. Another one's going to be given away here tonight and then Wednesday night I'll be giving away another copy. So if you are interested, let me know. Put in the comment section below that you are interested and I will need a Steam account if you're not comfortable putting it on here. I would delete it at least as soon as I see it, I'll write it down, I'll delete it. We can kind of coordinate it a little bit. But anyways, uh, other, otherwise I can give you an email that you can throw it to. So thanks again guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.